and welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday today and we are going to go set up a pole walk exercise, trot pole exercise, and then I'm going to do it with both my horses and then hopefully I'll get some good footage and I've not decided which one's going to be my demo pony today or they might both feature depending on how well they do it. Um, we're going to try Obi again in his new bit to see how it goes. Um, he loved it on Monday so fingers crossed it works really well so I'm just about to go and tack up Obi and it started raining so I'm really looking forward to getting positively drenched for you guys I hope you appreciate it and yeah so we're gonna go I'll give him a walk and then I will do the exercise and hopefully my mum will get some on video and it won't be too blurry because of the weather but yeah I hope you enjoy I hope you appreciate my efforts. <laughs>
I've just ridden both the boys and given Joe a bit of a pamper because he was desperate to have the fluff removed from his legs because it seems to still be glowing onto them. He never likes to lose his winter fluff. Um, so yeah, you always have to really encourage it out, which isn't the nicest. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about the how they were all going. Um, we all went yesterday because it rained and we gave both the boys a day off. And I certainly remembered why we do only ever give Obi a lunge as his liked day slash day off. Because, uh, well, he went beautifully an hour after I got on him and uh, trotted him around and endured the spooking and the bucking and the, you know, general madness. Um, then, yeah, he was brilliant after that um and he again he really liked his bit today his um happy tongue um although it wasn't that easy to tell because he was being difficult um and then joe i wrote i wrote him in the we've got the happy tongue and the bomber ported barrel bit on trial I rode Joe in the barrel bit and like we'd not had a problem with Joe's bitting or anything like we just tried them because we had them on trial like we've got them on a 30 day trial let's try all horses in them um but it made like a different I like I wasn't expecting to make a big, big difference but he like he really felt so much more like he wanted to accept the bit and like he was really soft and I, I just really liked it so big hit and yeah I'm really pleased with them and then yeah he was really good but the um, second exercise that um, I've got set up well, we had two exercises set up as you'll see but then I'm going to show you them I'm going to draw them out on my computer and then explain them from there because we had to um, take one down to set the other one up because we don't we only have a 20 by 40 arena so we couldn't fit it all in so I'll show you them from the computer and then try and draw the striding in and stuff so hopefully that'll make sense but the second one is um I got it from a girl called Chloe Pearson and she is the most elegant rider <laughs> like I aspire to be that elegant and yeah I will try and leave a link to the Facebook post that she did with that video uh, of her explaining the exercise and she did a really professional like voiceover and then there's me <laughs> uh, make shifting as per but yeah so she's a beautiful rider like I really wish I could ride like that but yeah and um, it works on simple changes that's what I was going to say and Joe's simple changes are really established and I could feel he found it quite easy but then Obi he's still working on them it's an intermediate move and we're just trying to get them more established to help with his collection and stuff and he struggled quite a lot with it which was quite interesting I just the feeling that I got he was just like oh this is hard work mum whereas Joe was like ah got it sorted which um well joe's always like that anyway so um it's just a pretty amazing horse and uh so i'm gonna leave you now and just sort up a few things around the yard and then i will go and draw up the exercises on my computer and talk you through them so because i get distracted really easily i haven't got around to filming the um, explanation but I've drawn them all up on my computer so I'm going to go through them now. Okay so as you can see you come down the poles and then you can go either left or right over them and then there, there's a halt box there so you do a transition so you do a transition down from counter or to halt and then up into trot over the poles and then again do another like halt or transition here um, if you do a hole, I'd suggest you then go straight to these poles here. Um, this is really good because you can use 
the impulsion that you generate from the hold to help your horse to bring their hocks underneath them and halt square and get a perfect square halt. It's really good for training young horses to do that. That's how we've got Obi to start to halt a lot better. And then the other little bit with the exercise here is that you, when you can come over these poles and then go and do a transition in this transition area there and then again go back over them and up there. And also you can come, come over these poles and then count the number of strides that you get along this long side and then come over them again and either go and try and get a few more or less strides around this edge here. And that's really good for developing their different gears in their trot because it helps keep the because the poles bring their hocks underneath them so that they can really push from underneath. So that's the first exercise. So this is the second exercise. You've probably seen this on my Instagram. It is the one that Chloe Pearson, that I've sort of taken inspiration from Chloe Pearson form. Um, and then, so these are canter poles, and then these are trot poles. And you can come, you come up over these, and then I did it in, I cantered up here, and then I came across up centre line, did a transition here, made sure I was in trot, again another transition, using the poles to make sure that your transition is clean and their hocks are underneath them. And then again canter away and over these. You can do it all in trot as well. And um, you can progress to doing like coming down the centre line, halt, canter to halt, and then up to trot, canter to walk, canter to trot, etc. And also like picking up counter canter, that's a really good one because I don't know if you still have to, but you certainly used to have to pick up counter canter from walk in I think the three star tests, but I'm not sure if you still have to because they've just, FEI have just changed their dressage tests having learned them all. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I will take a picture of those um, drawings that I've drawn out and put them on my Instagram um, and if you did make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment tell me that you enjoyed it and then if you're make sure you're like share it on social media so that everyone else can benefit from my exercises and stuff so if you're Instagram it is Lucy J Richards underscore eventing and Facebook is just Lucy Richards eventing so I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, etc. And see you for the next one.